am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, I can't help but wonder, uh, and I know I've asked this before, but it's, it's worth doing an update. What's going to happen with Trump? Is he going to do jail time? Where is he going to do jail time? How long is it going to be? They're talking about that, um, you know, the prosecutors are probably definitely going to ask for it for this, um, this, uh, this Alvin Bragg situation. Um, he is a 34 times convicted felon. Uh, so let's see if this now makes a difference in what the cards say. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? Please do. And thank you very much for watching. So yeah, I think it's a fair question. What the heck is going to happen now? He's a convicted felon. Um, things have changed. The uh, atmosphere is different. The energy is swirling around him. He looks exhausted all the time and looks to me a lot like he's given up and he's even talking about how he's not scared to go to prison or something to that effect and and i think there's a lot of projection when he's saying that the people can only take so much before there's a breaking point as far as him going to jail and i think that means him i think he realizes that he is on the breaking point so um, that's kind of what I'm interested to know is uh, is he really to the point to where his psyche is broken and um, will he survive jail even will he will he survive will it change him and will he actually have to do some time there's been some talk that it can even be a situation where you come to the jail at night so but before we do any of that, let's take just a moment, you know, for meditation. So let's see how this is going to affect our friend, Mr. Trump. What? Is his psyche being affected right now? Let's start with that. Let's just go down a logical uh, track. Okay, so is his actual psyche being affected like, like, like any of us would be if we knew that we were gonna looks like we might get prison time uh, let's do three cards to see where he is where is his brain right now uh, see if that can help us get in the right direction so Trump's psyche okay so this is the knave of wands okay so the knave is like the page of wands page is the lowest in the royal court wands are action plans forward movement where is trump's psyche right now he is he's still royal i mean he's not really royal he's just he's just around the the royal court the king the queen the knight you know he is is someone so he's just a messenger to the court right now this is he but he's above most of us uh, so him with this action plans forward movement, he's got he's very weak. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles, though, is he has um, value that is inherent. It's uh, this is like family values card. This is um, he comes with this legacy. It was born with him. So this inherent, somehow ludicrous uh, value that he has is his center piece here. And then the final outcome for this is judgment. So that's where his brain is right now. You tell me that's not freaky for this card to come out right now, but it's judgment. So, and this is a very dire looking judgment card. So where is his psyche right now? Very little power. It's just his, his generational, his 
big, bigger than any of us value that's there. And uh, but it's it's it ends in judgment. Spooky. So that's where his brain's at. Okay. Now let's see if if I don't want to say if he goes to jail, will that break him? I want to know is he going to go to jail, and if the card says he's going to go to jail, then I want to know if that's going to break him. That's kind of the, the route I want to go down. Um, so his it's all on his mind, okay? Is this is this really um, invading his thoughts? Okay, is this is this like all day, every day? If it's not always on his mind, it's at least coming back to him over and over and over again while we wait for sentencing. Okay, that's what I want to know. Um, and then, um, let's just do that. Okay, three cards. One, two, three. Is the court rent, staying rent-free in Donald Trump's brain? Okay, so this is the Four of Wands. Four of Wands are small celebrations on towards something grander. So Four of Wands. Very interesting. This is a very nurturing, this is a very celebratory, very sweet uh, nurturing. So is this in his brain? Then we've got the Knight of Swords. This is the fighter for truth, justice, rules, and law. Oh. And then uh, this is the King of Cups, emotions. Oh yeah, he's splendid with emotions. So this, what this is representing more if you read the card directly is that these are dreams, okay? These are dreams of celebrations, small celebrations. But what is, what is coming into is, is the night of truth, justice, rules, and law. Judgment is here. And, um, the, and this King of Cups just tells us he's just loaded with emotions. So yeah, this is flooding even his dreams. Okay. Okay, so justice is living rent-free in Trump's brain. And it shows. When you look at his personality, when you look at his, his facial expressions, it shows. So now that that's the case, is this going to break him? Just before he even gets to the trial phase, is this going to break his brain a little bit? Okay, three more. One, two, three. Is this gonna break his brain a little bit? Okay. Here we have the King of Cups. So that King of Cups is right here. It's still, it's just motion, emotion, emotion, emotion. Okay, this is the coming on fast. Okay, this is the Queen of Wands. Actions, plans, forward movement. I think, yeah, this is him trying to figure out what do I do? What can I do? What am I going to do? What can I do? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's affecting him. Okay, so now, uh, is he going to do jail time? Is he going to do any kind of incarceration? Any kind of being held in one place? Ankle? bracelet, uh, have to stay at Mar-a-Lago, uh, signing in at night, um, extreme regulations on what he can do and say, I guess, is, is he going to do some sort of incarceration? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to do some kind of Incarceration. Signifier card. Seven of Cups is um, illusion and illusion. Center figure in this thing is illusion and delusion. So is it going to look like uh, more than it is? And then justice. The challenge to that illusion and illusion is justice right there. Okay. Now we had judgment earlier. Now we got justice. Okay. So. Could this be the shade that Trump is going to throw, to throw on it? But Justice is going to say, this is what we're doing. I don't know. This could be the same thing. The basis of the whole thing, then, is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is doling out the value. The basis of this whole thing is how much guilt or how much punishment is going to get doled out to this wayward uh, little boy. The past of this is uh, what's already passed is the Five of Cups. 
and uh, the five of cups is especially in this in this deck is talking about um, an emotional surprise and it's over that's done we know what's coming that surprise is done in the sky of this is the uh, knave of swords so this is like the messenger of truth justice rules along wow the knave of swords the best he can hope for is a little bit of um, uh, hope a little bit of a little message of truth justice rule law to be uh, gentle on him is the the most he can hope for just a knave's worth pages worth and then the final outcome for this is the seven of pentacles and that's uh, did i do enough value good god so this is him up to sentencing four more cards to see if we can clarify this a little bit more i'm going to take those three and that one sure am okay the very self of that question is the knight of wands so this is the fighter for actions plans forward movements this is this trump or is this the court the um environment that that's in is the emperor okay so this is uh trump fighting for some for some kind of action but he's in the um in the environment of you know justice of, of the government and then um this eight of swords is f f the best he could hope for is being trapped so this is imprisonment but the thing about the eight of swords is this person can always get out if he behaves and the likely outcome is this his, he's a star that star card shows up for him or the sun card more often than it doesn't is that he has special treatment he is special so it looks like there may be some really diluted form of incarceration for him that he won't leave alone and he'll probably mess up that's what i see Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. So these cards are terrific. This is the Klimt Tarot. And some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil, gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for. These are by Los Carabillo. And uh, these cards are really amazing. They give you a perfect uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous. Um, the cards uh, are amazing i'll show you in a second the instruction booklet isn't really much um it's just a, a, some good information about clip really several pages on him and then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics and it's in several different languages so that's useful to lots of folks i suppose the containers nothing to speak of except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around and the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in, in four different languages. So like, these are wands. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted and they're just a real joy to use and they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes so uh, which wasn't very typical at the time you wouldn't often find uh, cards or, or not cards i'm sorry but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women so the cards are interesting and they're and uh, if you go to austria you will just be inundated by uh, examples of clips aren't there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work.